Here we have some pretty standard business speak. Uh, this is a piece selling a uh, summarizing and trying to get you to download a white paper on the new digital economy. Uh, let's look at this. International leaders face an era of unprecedented change. The financial crisis that ended in 2009 caused a seismic shift that, is shift that has reshaped the global business landscape. The world economy is now characterized by sluggish growth in the West, a shift in power to the East, value-driven customers, and rising risks everywhere. At the same time, the downturn has hastened the adoption of new tools that are transforming businesses and sparking a new wave of wealth creation particularly particularly in the emerging world. Mobility, cloud computing, business intelligence, and social media. Okay, let's just take a stab at this first paragraph. In this first sentence, uh, second sentence really, the financial crisis that ended in 2009, that's really interesting to me, caused the seismic shift that has reshaped the global business landscape. So on the bad words basis, let's look at this. Does the shift really have to be seismic? I mean, this is Let's look at this. We take this out. Caused a shift that has reshaped the global business landscape. The financial crisis we can really cut all this out. Now this is interesting because we're doing something here with this phrase it's sort of this uh, optimism. You want to be optimistic and you want to be positive. It's it's making a statement about the state of the world. Um, it's doing it kind of in a backhanded way. The financial crisis that ended in 2009. <laughs> we're all good here. <laughs> so I don't think we really need it, though, for what we're trying to say. Whether it's over or not, it clearly reshaped the global business landscape. Um, it, you know, I have a bias that uh, anybody who says that is, uh, I don't know, I, I, I disagree. But whether you disagree or agree, I think it's better just to take it out. The financial crisis reshaped the global business landscape. So now international leaders face an era of unprecedented change. Um, hmm. Let's leave it for a second. The world economy is now characterized by sluggish growth in the West, a shift in power to the East, value-driven customers, and rising risks everywhere. I'm not too sure what this really what what this phrase really means. Value-driven customers. Let's look at it. The world economy is now characterized. Uh, why don't we just say say it this way? What, what are we really trying to say here? Um, the financial crisis reshaped the global business landscape. There is sluggish growth in the West, a shift, sluggish growth in the West, power shifted the East, uh, This is really interesting because this risk is rising everywhere suggestion. You know, when a financial crisis ends, um, uh, risk doesn't rise. Risk goes down. Um, so, I don't know, this is just another weird thing. So, they're, they're probably not trying to say what they exactly what they believe the truth is. They're trying to put a spin on something, which is why that you have that sort of cognitive... Um, dissonance there. So, international leaders face an error the financial crisis. Yeah, I, th I think we can get rid of this first sentence, so I'm just going to take a stab at it. There's sluggish growth in the West, power has shifted to the East, and risk is rising everywhere. Let's see. At the same time, well, if it's at the same time, you don't need to say at the same time. The downturn has hastened the adoption of new tools that are transforming businesses, sparking. Um, let's do this. Ah, uh, so 
the at the same time is kind of uh, on the other hand let's see the downturn hmm. at the same time hasten the adoption of new tools that are transforming businesses and sparking at the same time there is a new wave of wealth creation particularly in the emerging world cloud computing business intelligence and social media forming business and that's interesting and, and and it's interesting to see why that's better um, so the subject really isn't the downturn this is this is a an order problem so if we remember you got subject verb object really the subject about this paragraph is the fact that um, there's wealth creation going on so we really want to make that the subject I mean we want to say at, at the same time I mean it's this is a nice transition it's sort of a rhetorical device there is a new wave of wealth creation it's it's kind of like you know there's bad news and there's hope on the horizon particularly in the emerging world mobility cloud computing now this is this is the other thing too this is these are the subjects these are the things that are transforming business so we really want to start with those uh, take take a moment and pause it and look at it if you want to and see what you think uh, today's economic realignment and digital transformation are in inextricably li linked uh, <laughs> in a word uh, uh, the current economic conditions are fostering investment technologies emerging markets ramp up their demand for technology so we have a really sort of nasty use the same word here twice thing going on today's economic realignment and digital transformation are inextricably like blah 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 fostering technology ramp up the demand for technology to fuel growth is to cut costs and drive innovation this becomes a virtuous circle Boy, this is just a mess. I mean, this paragraph is just a mess. So let's just see. I'm not really sure it says anything. For the sake of argument, let's just cut the whole damn thing out and see what happens. So now I got two paragraphs. To understand, let's see. There's a way, new way to understand how these shifts will affect the global marketplace. We could, yes, that whole paragraph can go. This whole paragraph actually says nothing. So uh, if you accept that information equals that which reduces ambiguity, that whole paragraph is this whole paragraph right here is so bad it doesn't even it doesn't even qualify as information. Yes, uh, economic realignment and digital transformation are, are linked. Um, conditions are fostering investment. Um, there's a there's a logical problem with this right here too because um, conditions conditions are not actually related. Can't uh, can't foster investment. Conditions can be ripe for investment. Assets can be under or overvalued. But conditions themselves, it, it's illogical because a, a person makes a decision to invest. E even you know, at a, at a large corporation, a person or people come to this decision. So that's really bad. Um, it just it doesn't make logical sense. So the brain kind of goes and uh, runs into a problem there. 
um, this becomes a virtuous circle as digital technologies derive consumer income and demand. Um, <clears throat> Again, it's the same problem. A technology can't drive demand. Demand relies on a person. Uh, drive education and training. Um, efficient use of capital and resources. So you might say that um, technology enables or technology presents the opportunity for people to use capital and resources more efficiently, um, leading to economic growth. Yeah, that whole paragraph is just a mess. I, I, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Speak not to me of it again. So to understand how these shifts will affect the global marketplace over the next five years, we conducted a survey of a bunch of corporate decision makers. Uh, supplemented by interviews and panel discussions with global C-level executives and thought leaders. Our report identifies six significant shifts firms will need to address over the next five years to ensure they remain competitive. To learn more about these shifts, please learn about them. Download the paper. So, here's an interesting thing, too. Look at these, look at these words here. Ensure they remain. Why, do, why must we ensure? Why can't we just remain competitive? To learn more about these shifts, please download the paper. So, I'm going to uh, pull this thing up again, get the whole thing, and we'll compare the two. Very long, shorter, tighter, better, I think. So, have a look yourself and see which one you like better.